welcome back to my channel. Today I have some beastly nails picked by Bev over at Bev B's Diamond Painting. So I will leave her linked in the description as well as the wonderful women who are uh, helping Elizabeth Ensley who started this whole thing um, host this event. So we've got Elizabeth Ensley uh, who asked myself, Mama Vapes and Diamond Paints and Yorelli to help help uh, host this event, uh, Jurilla Beast, this fantastic event that I have been honored to um, have been asked to help participate. So all of those four women will be linked in the description box as well as anyone else that I happen to mention along the way. So um, before we get started, I wanted to do a tiny little bit of a tutorial for opening your Melly Machete. This is actually kind of important because I noticed some people are saying that it's not closing properly when or it's not um, setting. So when you open it like this, you see there's a little bar there. You see the little bar right there? Let me show you what happens. You can just close it like this. Let me tell you why that's a bad idea. So let's say you open it and then you go like this and then you flip back and your finger is not out of the way and you just go ahead and slice your finger right off. That's not a good plan, okay? Let me tell you why it's important to open it the way that I open it. Because if you go like this, watch, ready? My hands are out of the way of the blade, okay? So I'm just like, okay? But that bar moves. Do you see how the bar is now right there? Impeding it from open or closing back up? That is what you want. Now when you go to close it, you just push on that bar, and then you get your finger out of the way, and you close it back up. But when you open it like this, that bar does not set so you can just close it right up. That is not a good thing. So once again, all you have to do is make sure your hands are out of the way of the blade. So you see that I put my hand right here. I put, well I put my thumb here. I put my hand like that on the back and I put my finger here to open it, which in turn flicks that bar so that it is impeding it from closing again. I just wanted to give that quick little tiny uh, tutorial because I have seen a lot of people opening it like this and asking how come uh, they can't get it to stay open. So that is why. Um, I've been around knives my whole life. My father collected knives. Um, it's 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 a um, an assisted open knife. I believe that's what it's called. So you don't have to open it like this. You can just like that. That's, that's what it's for there. And that's the reason that yours isn't closing or clicking. You hear when, like watch, okay? One, one more time, one more time. I promise we'll get to the whip and chat. I promise we'll get to the beast goodness in a second. But I just wanna make sure that everyone is being safe. So when you open it like this, you do not hear the click. But when you go like this, ready? You hear the click and that's what you want. You want that click because that click is telling you that it is safe to use now, okay? All right, just, just wanted to make sure that everyone was being safe because I don't want anyone slicing their fingers off, okay? I love everyone and I don't want anyone to lose a finger. Moving on to the whip and chat portion. Okay, so back to business here. Whip and chat, whip stands for work in progress and chat, of course, we're gonna be chatting. So we're gonna be working and chatting. So I am using my Enablers Outpost pen, my beautiful uh, light purple and teal glitter. Oh, can you even see it? Hey, 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 focus. Hey, you're being rude, come on. There you go, that's it, there we go. Look at it, oh my God, stunning. And of course my Bella Art Dana Cole tray in purple, this is the newer version, so I do have the lid, but I tend to only use the lid when I'm pouring them back out. So I typically leave the lid off to the side. Really quickly, I wanted to mention, I can't remember if I did mention that Nicole will be going live for me instead this Saturday. Um, Nicole is, of course, uh, Nicole from Bella Art Day Nicole. So if you're interested in watching a live in my normal time slot, Nicole will be going live in my stead. All right, guys, that is it for this clip. I'm just using plain pink wax today because I I want to dig out my favorite wax, but right now I'm working with black drills, and even though I know I don't get residue with it, I can't take the chance. The beast, he's a beauty, you know? All right, so let's talk about February. So 
February is, uh, it's today February 1st. No, that's not English. Today is February 1st. Um, that means it's the start of a whole bunch of events. And I actually just found another event that's happening. Um, the uh, wonderful uh, Crazy Diamond Lady. Oh, God, I don't know her name. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I've only watched, like, maybe five of her videos. Uh, so I, I don't really know all that much about her. But I just recently found out that she is co-hosting an event with another creator, um, Amber Diamond Paints. I haven't watched any of her videos yet, but I intend to check both those ladies out. Um, I will leave those uh, women linked in the description box as well. They are hosting an event called Love for Micah. Um, so that hashtag is going to be love, L-O-V-E, for the number four, not spelled out, the number four, and then Micah, M-Y-K-A. And I love me some Micah. Okay, I love me some Micah. I own most of the paintings that um, Diamond Art Club has done, except for, I think, four or five. And um, I have not completed one. Disgusting. I know. Uh, can we can we do that thing again real quick? Disgusting. Disgusting, I know. I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, but this event runs all the way until March 31st, so I might um, see if I can possibly uh, do these three events that I'm working on this month, which is The Beast, Reflect and Sparkle, and Palantine, and then pick back up... Um, in March with Love for Micah and the Chuck Along. That's my plan anyway. I'm hoping to do that. I hope that um, I hope that I can get that done. <laughs> oh God, I hope I can get it done. Um, I really hope I can just get these four that are or the three that I'm working on now done. Um, I was fortunate enough to have finished um, the Into Wonderland just in time for February, like just in time. Okay, <laughs> by the skin of my teeth. But let's get back to talking about the events that I am participating in. We will save the beast for last. Get it? Not the best, the beast. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> you know, I quack myself up. Okay, so, um, first of all, I am doing a tiny little canvas. I posted it on Instagram. Um, it is, I'm calling it we're all mad here. It's just a little tiny baby painting. The unboxing for that should go up at some point this week um, or next and you'll see more about it in that video. But basically I had Jenny go to Amazon. I said pick me out a canvas. Anything you think that I'll like and then that will be my participation in Palantine because I don't have time for another massive painting. Um, but they are gracious enough to open it up to interpretation. So the Palantine can be a painting that reminds you of a friend. And because Jenny picked it out for me, I said, send me the link, I'll buy it, whatever it is. That painting now reminds me of Jenny. So now, not only do I like the painting, I knew she would pick one I liked, but <laughs> um, not only do I like the painting, I also um, think of her when I see it because she picked it for me. So... Um, that is Palantine 2020 that is hosted by Jenny and Mindy. Oh God, somebody better help me remember to link all these people in the description box. So um, that is hosted by Mindy and Jenny, the Uncrafty Crafter, and that is running the entire month of February. And then moving on to Reflect and Sparkle, that is hosted by Yoreli and Maritza from Kiss My Cross. So I will also leave them linked in the description box. Oh my God, I'm running out of brains now. So that one originally started as a uh, Indian Maiden event, Indian Maiden being from Gloria West, um, but they opened it once again for interpretation, as we all do, because um, Mindy and Jenny's was originally a Sherry Baldy event, but they opened it for more, you know, more participation. So uh, Reflect and Sparkle is now whatever makes you stop and reflect and that's, that's really important. Um, so that is my plan. I'm going to do that painting with intention. Um, obviously, I'm intending to do all the diamond paintings, but I mean I want to do that one with intention. I want to not be having the distraction. <laughs> oh my god, I don't want to be having the distractions. Like, for example, primarily when I'm diamond painting, I'm watching or listening. I want to spend about an hour a day with that painting just being, just existing and just living in this world. You know what I mean? Not being in someone else's world in another TV show. 
I intend to really be in this world when I'm doing that. And I might, uh, I might choose to listen to the Bible during that time. Um, I haven't decided. Um, but I need to, I need to find some way to incorporate, uh, more of the Bible, um, into my life. And that is a personal choice. Um, if you, uh, do not believe in God, that's okay. That is, that is your, um, that's your thing. Um, that's okay. Everyone is welcome here. Um, that's just something that I want to start doing more of in the year 2021. Um, because for those of you who don't know, I suffer from anxiety and depression and I'm not, um, I would be willing to talk to somebody about it, but I'm not willing to go on medication. Um, because in order for me to get on medication, first of all, I have to leave my house and I'm lazy. Second of all, I, um, I, I want to potentially conceive another child at some point. And um, when you get on anxiety and med medication and depression medication, a lot of times when you get pregnant or if you intend to get pregnant, you will have to start weaning yourself off of it. And that can cause a whole host of other problems. So I would rather just try and fix it the old fashioned way. <laughs> that's once again, that's my opinion. Nothing wrong with your opinion. Okay. I am not downing people who um, medicate. I am not, you know, at all. That is not what this is at all. But I'm just talking from my personal experience. Hold on one second. I have to tilt the camera so that I can put the painting under it so that it will hold up because I spilled drills on myself today while I was alive. <laughs> it was a mess. I'm a mess. But I really want to. <laughs> so ridiculous. But, um, yeah, that's, that's just, that's where I'm at in my life right now. I want to fix it, my anxiety and depression, but I want to fix it, um, with God instead of medication because I, uh, want to try and, uh, potentially conceive another child. So that is where I am at mentally. Um, so that's my plan. I'm going to sit and I'm going to reflect with Raven Maiden and that is the reflect and sparkle event. Okay, 12 minutes in, haven't even spoken about the beast yet. Let's get to the beast now. So the beast, okay, this is Drill a Beast. Um, once again, it is hosted by myself, um, Elizabeth Ensley Urelli on Instagram and Mama Vapes and Diamond Paint. So Urelli is hosting the Instagram portion and the rest of us ladies are gonna be hosting here on YouTube. So. Um, if you're interested in participating, there is still time. The day that this video goes up, it will be the second, so you will still have 26 days. If your painting is one or more of the following, it counts, okay? Is your painting the beast from Diamond Art Club? No? Okay. Is it 40 by 50 or larger? Okay. And is it, um, and if it's not one of those two things, and you want to be crazy like me and try to work on three projects at the same time, that also counts. So I am technically participating in four events this month, actually, because I am going to also be counting my Palantine um, canvas for um, Life with Lindsay's uh, Alice in a Winter Wonderland. So that is my plan. Um, yeah, so four events and I'm participating in Drill Beast three ways because I have no chill. Uh, so what kind of things are happening for Drill Beast? So Urelli is giving away something on Instagram. I will not spoil it here. You need to go follow her to find out what it is. And then the rest of us ladies are hosting giveaways here on, um, YouTube. So I have not quite figured out, I have an idea but I have not quite figured out exactly what I want to do. I'm still sort of talking it over. I'm going to probably give the winner a choice between Etsy or Diamond Art Club gift card. Your choice, totally your choice. Um, we will get to all of that uh, later on. There will be four total prizes for this event, one given away by each host. So that is that information. And I know that Miss Elizabeth, my good Judy, has already started hers. Um, I watched hers just a few short minutes before I started my whip and chat, so you'll have to go over there to figure out how to enter for hers. Um, but for here, uh, I don't want to talk about the giveaway just yet. 
Um, if you watched my How to Participate in the Beast, you know that I'm going to be uh, sort of making a secret phrase as the weeks go on. So um, you'll have to include that phrase in the final um, whip and chat for the month and that is how you will enter um, my giveaway and then I will draw the winner I don't know when um, maybe maybe the following week so that is the plan for that so I will be giving I haven't really figured out how I'm, I think you know we're all sort of still just trying to figure things out because this is the first time I have hosted an event with four people. Um, the last time I did an event, it was with Jenny, and we did um, bi-weekly prizes and a grand prize. So this is a little different. Every event that I host is going to be slightly different, except for, I'm sure, if I host um, an event with the same person, it might be similar. But for the most part, every single time will be a little bit different. So... Um, in case you're new to this event, uh, there are no rules other than, you know, grab a canvas that fits one of one of the requirements and uh, have fun. Have fun is the main rule and um, that is definitely an important rule. I, I don't really particularly love rules. Um, I understand the need for them. Um, I don't believe in anarchy, okay, but I don't like rules a lot. So I don't um, enforce them because, or I don't make them so I don't have to enforce them. Um, that's that's my personal thing. I just like to make things easy for myself, really. Because if I was restricting everyone and I was like, no, you can't do that because it won't count, you know, then I have to be doing that. And I am not the diamond painting police. <laughs> okay. So, um, let's see. I got my little tutorial thing out of the way. I wanted to get that done because I have seen a couple people, um, or have had a couple people message me, so... It's, um, I wanted to get that out there, and I will probably potentially upload it separately as well, um, just so I can make sure that everyone is being safe. Because if you know the end of my intro, okay, okay, it says, I hope that you guys are being safe, okay? You can't be safe if you're chopping your fingers off. You just can't, all right? So, um... Let us uh, talk a few minutes about um, this past weekend. So this past weekend, I went live. My birthday was on Friday, the 29th of January, and then my live time slot is Saturday. So I went live Saturday. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Will I edit that out? I don't know. Um, I went live on the 30th, and I had a whole host of wonderful people with me. And I just want to take a few more minutes. I know I have reached out individually and group-wide and messaged each person and told them how much their participation and how much them coming to my celebration has meant to me. It was really, really important for me to, I mean, going right along with what um, Maritza and Irelli are trying to bring to the table, reflecting and sparkling, you know? I have gotten the opportunity to um, reflect and see all the beauty in this diamond painting community. I know that it is not always beautiful and I know that it is not always drama free, but at the end of the day, you are responsible for the people you choose to surround yourself with. So if you're not having a um, sort of drama free whatever, then maybe you need to take a look and see. Um, and the people that I chose to have in my life were people that um, I, I'm blessed to know, okay? And I have taken the time to reflect in their sparkle. And they really have, they really, really have made such an impact. Each person that I talk to in my life, every single person that you saw on Saturday night has impacted me in some way. And um, no, no impact is small, okay? So um, if you stepped outside of your comfort zone and you came to my live, and you aren't a creator. Congratulations, first of all, for stepping outside of your comfort zone, but also thank you so much for doing that. And if you are a creator who's never gone live before, you also stepped outside of your comfort zone, so thank you so much. And um, I just wanna say thank you to everyone for coming, whether you were in the live or you weren't. It was a wonderful experience that I really will never forget, so. Thank you guys, and um, I, I'm, I'm still trying to get everyone linked in the description box for that video. 
Um, but I really hope that you will check them all out because I, like I said earlier, with the choosing who you surround yourself with, Grace from Diamond Painting with Grace said it best, a tribe, okay? I have chosen to surround myself with some amazing, amazing women and um, one handsome man, Christopher. So I am so blessed to have all of them in my life. If we talk every day or talk once a week or talked for the first time in the live, <laughs> I am so blessed to have every single one of you in my life. So moving on from sappiness to happiness. Well, I mean, that was happy too, but you know. So I don't have a clog to share this week. Um, it has recently come to my attention that some people do not like clogs. <laughs> um, I might in the future upload it separately, but for this week I didn't go anywhere or do anything, so I didn't have a clog to even, um, you know, include anyway. So um, if you're a fan of the clogs, let me know. If you want them separate, let me know. Let me know your thoughts on the clogs. Basically, I wanna hear your thoughts on the clogs. If you like them, let me know. If you want them separate so that you can choose to watch the whip and chat versus the clog, let me know. Um, totally, totally up to you, okay? So, um, with all that kind of out of the way, I do want to start formulating my um, special guest, um, special guest, special, special phrase, oh my god. <laughs> So, the first word for the phrase is going to be, actually, you know what, let me pause and really reflect and think. Let me, just give me a second. One second, okay? Hold, please. Okay, so I picked my little phrase here, and uh, the first word for my phrase is going to be beauty. So, um, I will not be telling you... Um, all three <laughs> of the other words, you will have to come back um, every single whip and chat to sort of fill in the um, word phrase. So, like I said, the first word is going to be beauty, okay? And that is private secret information, tell no one, okay? Tell no one anything. Um, yep, that's that. So, um, that is the first part of my secret word phrase thing. So, let's talk about this past week. So, I am a homebody. I would rather be at home in bed than almost anywhere in the world. Okay, I realize that is <laughs> probably a little sad. <laughs> and I am, uh... I'm quite aware of the fact that it's a little sad. Don't mind me just adjusting my camera so that I can keep this painting up because like I said, I did spill my drills earlier. Don't feel like doing that again. Okay, so um, yeah, I would rather be anywhere, I would rather be home than anywhere else in the world. Um, however, this past Friday, um, I was uh, thrown a small little impromptu birthday party. Um, my fiance took me to his coworker's friend's house and he made us all dinner and then my other coworker or my other friend's coworker, my other my fiance's other friend and coworker came too. So um, basically, um, my fiance has this friend and he's had this friend for a very, very long time. They happen to work at the same place. And then they met another coworker, well, another person there, and there are a total of three couples. So it's myself and my fiance. Um, the couple who it has been friends with uh, my fiance and I since, oh God, ever. And then, um, of course, the coworker whose house um, we went to. So, no, I am not worried about spreading the coronavirus between us um, because, I'll tell you why, because they all work together in close proximities, okay? And um, if anyone is going to be spreading the coronavirus, it's going to be me anyway because I work in a hospital. So, um, yes, we were safe. Yes, we were socially distanced as much as we could. Um, no, we didn't go um, sharing drinks and, you know, licking each other's saliva off the floor. So, uh, no, I don't really, don't really want anyone's opinion on it because I have always done the best I could to be safe from the coronavirus. Um, but at this point in time, I'm just not going to let it ruin me anymore. Um, I... 
I just, you know, um, because of the fact that they all work together, really honestly, if one of them has it, we all have it anyway. So I definitely um, enjoyed that time. Uh, and, you know, I think that it's important to be safe but still be able to do things. You know, I think that's very important. So, yep, that was that. So we did that. And then um, when my uh, friends slash Anthony's coworker came, um, they brought blue Moscato. And I posted about it in my Instagram story. And so many people were like, oh, blue wine. And I'm like, yes, girl. Yes, blue wine. Mm -hmm. It was delicious. Go get you some. Okay, it was so good. So um, when I got home from that, I called Jenny. Uh, if you're not aware of Jenny, is Jenny's Young Crafty Crafter. She's kind of, she's kind of my diamond painting bestie. She's the first um, friend that I made. I made another friend too around the same time, but um, I haven't talked to her in a while. Um, there's nothing wrong. Um, just we live busy lives, you know, and, and Jenny, um, Jenny and I make time, you know, and, and sometimes you can't always make time, but because Jenny and I's lives are so intermingled um, already, <laughs> because like I'm at all her lives, she's at all my lives, and then of course we go live every Monday. So Jenny and I are uh, pretty much, um, you, can, you can't separate us now, you know? So, I called her after, <laughs> after we got back, and I was not, I wasn't drunk, I was just tipsy, you know, and I was talking to her, and she's like, wow, you, <laughs> I guess I was talking very slow, <laughs> so, um, yeah, that, uh, I guess wine puts me at a normal talking speed instead of, um, how I usually talk, which is rapid fire, <laughs> So I am, um, you know, not. I've not been encouraged to drink more often. I've just been told that, hey, look, if drinking slows you down, if you need to have a sip of wine every now and then, <laughs> maybe do that. And and you know, as long as you're not um, somebody who has uh, issues with that, that should be fine. You know. Um, let's see, what else do I have to talk about? Oh boy. So I got a lot of wonderful gifts from wonderful people, and I. Um, sort of have talked about them um, in another video that I filmed which I don't know when it's gonna go up but if, it will eventually I'm still waiting on something I believe um, and um, I will go ahead and think the proper channels uh, then but uh, I've already reached out privately and thanked everyone so but I also I'm also really one of those people who's kind of like nervous to share things that they get because I never want to make anyone feel bad. I don't want it to ever feel like I'm bragging. And then, you know, you run the risk of, let's say, um, let's say that um, person A purchased me a, you know, this type of gift. And then that same person purchased the, another person um, a, a different type of gift. And then one of us gets jealous. I'm not, I'm not ever going to be jealous, but I always just worry that me putting what I received from somebody on my channel is going to make someone else feel bad in some way, which it, it shouldn't, it shouldn't affect me, but it does. Um, I got so many wonderful gifts for Christmas, but at the last minute I deleted all the footage. Um, oops, I deleted all the footage because I was so, um, so nervous about that. So actually, you know what? I am, I'm an adult. I'm going to do it now. <laughs> I'm not going to be a baby anymore. So I received, uh, several things for Christmas from wonderful people. Um, and I've already thanked them obviously individually because Christmas was literally last year. But, um, some of the items I have been using, um, daily. <laughs> I have been using my tubes Mama Vapes and Diamond Paints got me some tubes um, to travel to and from work with because I get to diamond paint at work. And then, um, let's see, Maritza got me a storage container, which I am currently using right now. Um, oh, you didn't see. I've got a little slot, a 60 slot organizer. Um, let's see, my friend uh, Jenny got me a coloring book, which I intend to bring to the channel at some point, but my, um, my life has been so crazy. I haven't really had time to film any, you know, extra videos. It's just been what I needed to go up or clips for what I needed to go up that I had already started. So, 
And I got other gifts too, but those are just some that I wanted to mention. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, my friend Whitney got me a, a little statue with a kitty cat. It was really, really cute. Um, I feel like I am forgetting something. I can't, I can't for the life of me remember, but that's why, you know, that's why I don't ever want to, like, I, I get nervous with putting stuff like that on my channel because I never want, um, the person who has gifted me something to feel that I am ungrateful because I didn't unbox it, so then it's like a whole other struggle, but that's internal. All of that is internal, okay? No, no one is thinking these things, you know? No one is like, wow, Abigail is like, wow, really wow, you know? No one is doing that. It's, I'm doing it to myself. So, uh, anyways, um, all that to say, if you did get me something for Christmas and you were expecting to see it on my channel, I'm sorry, I love you, I apologize. And then for my birthday, I've reached out privately to each person and um, I sort of made a decision whether or not those things will go on my channel based on their opinions. So, um, we will kind of, uh, that's what we'll do. So, I almost wish I had put up that Christmas video, um, just because... It would have been nice to be able to, you know, look back on. Especially since I did film everything. But, um, you know, one of my dear friends has said it best. Um, she said, when I get you something, it's for you. It's not for others. It's for you. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm just weird. So, uh, do you think we have time to do this section? Let's try. Hold on, please. I have to slide you over, take you for a ride. I apologize for that ride. So, back to um, the week. Okay, it should be good now. Okay, so back to the week. Um, obviously, like I said, Friday was my birthday. Saturday was my live, but let's go back a little further. So, um, I didn't get anything from Diamond Art Club this past week, which is <laughs> kind of crazy I've only, that I've only bought from Diamond Art Club one time this year. Um, yeah, kind of crazy, kind of weird. But also, Diamond Art Club hasn't exactly reached out to me and been like, hey, are you still alive? We noticed you're not purchasing from us anymore. <laughs> I, I had been joking with my friends, and I was like, yeah, Diamond Art Club's going to call me up and do a wellness check, and they're going to send the police to my house, make sure I'm still breathing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's a, that's a thing that could happen. Um, I did a shop with me this past week. Um, I believe I put it up on Sunday. Yep, mm -hmm. I put it up on Sunday. So I put that up and I have some wonderful enhancements that are coming to my house. I've, they're actually already here. I put up the shop with me a little bit late. So if you are actually um, watching this the day it gets posted, you're going to get a tiny little bit of a sneak peek for what I got. Of course, you already saw everything I got from the shop with me, but you're going to get to see it. So I'm going to go ahead and pause real quick and grab those things really really fast and I will be right back so that I can show you what my plans are for enhancing this canvas. I will be right back. So um, I don't think I've, wow refrigerator being rude again. Incredible. I don't think I've showed this on my camera recently but this is my big old bag of enhancements. So let me take a look and see. I grabbed 414 round, 210 round, I got 210 square, 209 round, 208 round. I'm annoying myself. I'm going to stop now. Um, oh my God. Look at how little these are. Oh, those aren't even the little ones. What am I saying? 605 square. Oh crap. It was square. Uh, 600 round. If you don't know what I'm emulating or um, attempting to emulate, I did a video a while ago with my mom and my sister where I was showing them how I personally enhance um, canvases and my mom got a square so when I showed her all the ones she was like, it's round! You know, of course she was joking but <laughs> it was funny. Um, <laughs> it was funny to me. So uh, let's see what other round ABs do I have. I have 740 but that is not in this canvas. Um, I have some sparkless. Maybe I could put some sparkless in here. Some sparkless. Uh, 606. 
I grabbed a couple primarily for this particular canvas. Um, I believe I put them all kind of on the table now, so let me just bear with me while I go through and make sure. 550? Oh, that's square. Square! Um, did I have 550 round? I sure hope so. That's five. That's 310 square. That's 210 uh, square frost. I gotta get that frost in there. Uh, 5200. Um, why do I keep singing everything? Somebody help me. Somebody come get her. Here's four, eight, fifteen. Um, Caribbean, that's not going in here. Ocean, not going in here. Silver, sparklers, not going in here. I'm annoying myself. Amber, could I find a place for Amber? mermaid <laughs> when this video devolves and is no longer a whip and chat 310 AB fireworks okay I don't want that stuff I don't want it let's see 666 nope not in this canvas don't want ocean uh, coral reef maybe no no silver sparklers no want autumn no I don't want autumn or amber in this one um, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Oh, I dropped something. Oh well. Let's see. 996. Nope. Nope. Ombre fuchsia. Might throw some of that in there. Nope. No to chameleon. No to dragonfly. Just the last little bit right here. We've got hot pink, maybe. Sunshine, sunshine. I got sunshine in my pocket. Frost. Um, nope. Okay. So. Mm, no. I don't want the rest of it in here. Okay. So. I pulled out all my options. I intended to do a whole video on this. But then I started filming it. And I was like. I hate it. Scrap it all. Get rid of it all. It sucked. So. Now I am sort of. Going to go through here really quickly. Moonstone, Dreamcatcher. I don't want Dreamcatcher in here, I don't think. Well, I'll put it away. I'll put it off to the side. So, 4, 815. Um, this uh, is an AB, and I have 815 in here, so I will include it. I don't know that I will use it, okay? Um, here is 310 AB. Once again, including it. Don't know that I will use it. Um, 415, same concept. I might, um, depending on where it is. Um, Dreamcatcher. Mm, I might put some of that in the rose, and same with the sunshine sparklers. Um, ombre fuchsia, I could probably find a place for in uh, the rose, maybe. We'll see. Coral reef does not need to be here. Frost, I don't believe I need, I don't believe I need frost. 550 square. Hot pink, I might be able to find a place for it. And then, of course, original sparklers. And then I have plans for 5200 so I'm definitely including that one. And then, of course, 208, 209, and 210, which were all, I think I've had this one before, but these two were purchased primarily for this, as well as 600 So that is the plan. Um, I'm going to sort of see what I can do with these ones, and then um, I don't know if I'm going to completely sub these out or just uh, insert them sporadically, but those will be involved in some way. So now I'm going to show you how I'm going to put them away. I like how this video has completely evolved into a show and tell. But do you love it? <laughs> so this is my current storage unit. I have this little pocket here and this is all my drills. I'm just going to put the ones that I know for sure I'm using in here. And I am going to grab the ones I think I might use and then put them in here as well. Okay, so that is taken care of. I'm gonna put this away. So, back to the week. So, um, I had a patient this past week, or I don't know when I had them. Just put it all in there. So I had a patient and they were like, my cat has knocked many things over. Why have you done this? For why? Um, 
and they are in the Institute for Mental Health. So the Institute for Mental Health is for people that are having, obviously, um, mental health issues, um, whether they are um, sort of addiction-based or um, like we had, um, I'm sure we've had some other more serious issues, but um, this particular patient called me and wanted to talk to Crime Stoppers, <laughs> okay? Um, and of course, I had to tell them I don't have the number for Crime Stoppers. And um, I just thought I'd share this really quick because I thought it was, not that it's funny that he doesn't know what's happening, but it's funny to me because of his reaction. <laughs> I told him that I don't have the number for Crime Stoppers. And he was like, so you're telling me the crime is gonna continue? And I'm like, I'm sorry, sorry, I don't have the number for Crime Stoppers. And he's like, so no one's gonna stop this crime? And I was like, I'm sorry, sorry, I don't have the number for Crime Stoppers. Like, Cause I'm not gonna, I'm not, my job is not to debate with the patients. You know, my job is to just give facts. I don't have the number for Crime Stoppers. So I'm telling him I don't have the number for Crime Stoppers and he is insistent that he needs to speak to Crime Stoppers. So he hangs up <laughs> and um, then he calls back and my coworker gets him. I just thought that was a little funny. I thought I'd share that um, his reaction, basically. I thought that was kind of funny. So um, I don't think I have really any other stories. Um, of course, I have plenty of stories, but um, none that are, you know, appropriate for my channel. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just thought that that one was that one was funny. Figured I'd share it. Um, let's see, what else do I have to talk about? Um, I have a plan to do a um, February or uh, January whips and finishes, but because the only two canvas I, canvases I worked on last month I finished, I don't know if I necessarily need to, um, especially since I'm going to be doing post reviews on them individually. So I don't really know, um, I don't really know about that. So if you're interested in seeing a uh, finished video, I can definitely do that. But, you know, like I said, well, I mean, some people may not want to watch post reviews. So I guess it is kind of good to put up a, um, what I finished in the month video so they can kind of have a recap without actually having to watch um, post reviews. So that could be good. Um, so maybe I will go ahead and do that. I, I'm a, I might, yeah. I don't know when it's going to go up though because I am currently booked this week. Have all of the plans and um, none of the time to execute them. But that is just, that is my life, you know? So, um, yeah. I want to definitely take the time to reflect and sparkle with my Raven Maiden. I am going to beast this one out. And I am going to sort of enjoy working on the little snack size. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's let's talk about that really quickly. When I say snack, I am not meaning it to be offensive. It's just what I call it. Okay? That's all. All right. So, uh, I don't think I have anything else to say. Um, I will try and leave everyone I mentioned linked in the description box. If I mention somebody or if it's you. Okay, listen, if it's you that I mentioned and you don't see your name in the description box, please, please, please reach out to me. I'm not gonna be upset that you are telling me I didn't link you. I'm not gonna be upset at all. I just wanna make sure that I have linked everyone I intended to link because oftentimes what happens is my life is so busy, I don't actually have time to sit back and rewatch it. Um, for the most part, I use um, what I call stop and start editing. So, um, for example, if I said something I don't like or I want to take it back, but I don't want to actually have to rewatch the entire video, I will just go ahead and stop filming. Okay, and then at that point, that is a stopping point, and when I'm compiling all the clips, I will listen to the stop part and see if I screwed up somewhere or, you know, any type of way like that so I can make sure that I go ahead and fix whatever it is that I had stopped filming to um, take care of, you know? Um, so I use stop and start editing. I used to edit every single video, but now I'm at the point where I put on a video like every day, like every day. I, I put out some type of video every single day. So, um, 
even if it's not necessarily a video where I'm like putting up a video and it's just like a live and even if that live is not on my channel so for example Jenny and I do murderous Mondays so when it is Jenny's channel that we're on that week I'm still in the live so no I don't have a live on my channel every single Monday but I am in a live every single Monday and there is no reason to hurt myself in this way okay um, and I definitely don't um, think it's you guys it's definitely me putting more pressure on myself I know we addressed it last week in chat um, but I think my schedule um, is going to get a lot more fluid soon I'm not going to um, force myself to post certain types of videos on certain types of days I'm just gonna allow myself to be fluid of course when I bring new wax Wednesday back that will be on Wednesday because um, you can't have new wax Wednesday on a Saturday all right um, other than that I'm just giving you a little bit of a heads up um, I don't I know I had mentioned potentially taking a break but I'm not doing that until March okay March is going to be um, the time that I take my break um, hopefully <laughs> we'll see okay and even then, it'll probably be a week. It won't even be like the whole month. It'll be like, if I'm lucky, it'll be a week. It might just be a day. <laughs> I might not think about YouTube for a day. <laughs> and um, I might bulk film in advance so that I can still have a video up, but then what's the point of taking a break, you know? So anyways, uh, all this to say, I'm not slowing down. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I think I'm... I think I'm picking up speed. Um, with all that being said, um, look out for more information. Um, coming soon to a theater near you. No, I'm just kidding. Um, look out for more information coming soon regarding, um, of course, the secret phrase that I'm doing and um, to see if there's anything else that I have. Uh... Why is it so windy? I don't even know. I don't even want to think about it. Okay, moving on. Um, yeah, so check back next week for more, more things, more details, more, more words, more keywords to the phrase. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up, and if you like me and would like to see more from me, please hit subscribe. I would be so happy to have you. All right, guys, I hope that you are being safe, washing your hands, and taking care of yourselves. Bye, guys.